What's up guys, it's me over here with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial was suggested by Max Has ADHD. Um, a bit of a weird name, but his channel will appear on an annotation there. Um, and this tutorial will be adding on to my moving image uh, tutorial uh, as the part three. Now, any guys that have come from that tutorial and expected to come to the image view collision tutorial, um, I know you should go there, but I forgot to put this tutorial in and it's coming in late. Um, so you will be going to that tutorial after this video uh, and check the check for a link in the description if you don't want to know about this tutorial. Uh, but basically this tutorial is going to be teaching you how to make this image that we made in part two move by only pressing the button once. So as you can see here, I press up and it carry on going up until I press another button. Uh, and you can see I don't need to keep tapping it a million times. I can just press up and it will go up, right, left, down. And um, this is very different from our last tutorial where you just have to keep clicking them. Um, so thanks for Max there for reminding me for, to do this tutorial. Uh, so if we just go into our dot eight, hit H here. And um, in this tutorial, guys, because it's really repetitive, I will basically be cutting parts out of the video, but letting you know, don't worry, you won't just be lost randomly. Um, and then explaining what I've written because it's extremely repetitive. Um, so if you've got any questions, in, leave them in the comments and I'll gladly answer them for you. So in this one, we need timers to call the action over and over again. Uh, so we're going to need four of them. Uh, so we're going to go in here, we're going to have the, uh, I don't know, down timer to go down for the down one and then we're going to have the same but for all the um, other guys. So now what we're going to need, we're going to need voids as well to set uh, for these timers to go to. So we're going to copy and paste these actions and put them down here and we're going to change them to voids and we're going to rename them and my first one's going to be go down instead of down and like I said in the start of the video I will be cutting stuff and then coming back later and telling you how I did it. So this is going to be the first cut and I'll see you again in a minute. Right guys, I'm back and as you can see I've renamed all these um, to go down, go up, go left, go right and I've turned them all into voids. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy the actions and I know we all have already have them in the .m but I'll explain in a minute uh, and we're going to paste them into the .m and we're going to open them up and I will be back in a minute once I've closed them all. Alright guys, I'm back and what we're going to do is change all of these to void statements now, all the void statements we made in the dot .h. Um, and that's because the timers are going to be activated in these actions, so when they press the button, the timer will activate. The timer will then call the corresponding void statement. So if they press down, the timer will activate the down void. And it will keep activating it, i.e. it will keep going down until they press another button. So if they press up, then it will activate the up void. Um, so I'll sh give you a demonstration of what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go in there, change the void, and put go down there. And uh, again, I'll come back when I finish all that. Alright guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've changed all of these to voids. And I've renamed them corresponding to the ones that we made in our dot .h. Now what we've got to do is make the timers call the corresponding void. Um, so in here we're going to have our down timer because this is the down action. Now make sure you get the timers right depending on what action you're doing. So if you're doing if you're going down, make sure you use the right timer. And that's going to be NS timer. So schedule timer with interval, and it's going to be this one that presets the one that says target selector user and for repeats. If you don't get that, press escape and select it there. The time interval is going to be how fast you want your image to move up and down the screen. So I want mine to be refreshing every 0.05 seconds and that is pretty fast. But if you want it to move a bit more jerky, have it at 0.5 seconds or even one second if you want. Um, so the target is going to be self. Selector is going to be the void statement corresponding to this action. So this is the down action, so I'm going to use the go down void. So that's going to be go down like that. The user info is going to be nil, and yes, we want it to repeat, otherwise it will just go once. Next, we want to have an if statement uh, to say if the timer has been stopped or it's equal to nil, then make sure you can use it again. 
and this will all become clear in a minute. Uh, I hope it doesn't get too confusing, but it's basically going to be down timer is equal to nil, then do this action again. So copy and paste this action up here and copy it down there. And I forgot the D, so I put that on there. Um, and now, like I said, we want to stop all the other timers. So if it's going up, we want to stop it going up. If it's going left, we want to stop it going left. And we also want to set all the timers to nil. So this if statement works. Uh, so that's going to be just open bracket up timer invalidate. And then it's going to be the same for the others. So left timer invalidate and right timer invalidate. And that's basically stopping the timers. And now we want to set them all to nil. Um, so that we can use the if statement like I've shown uh, above. Like that. Um, so that's basically the same for every other action. So I'll be coming back in a minute once I've uh, completed all those actions. So uh, see you right, in a bit. guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I have now done all the up, right, and left actions. Um, and there are some minor adjustments you need to do. Make sure you get the corresponding timer to the corresponding action. So for up, it's going to be up timer, and then select to go up, and don't forget these if statements as well. Uh, and then you're going to have to replace the up timer with down timer, um, just so we reset the down timer, otherwise it will keep going down. So don't forget that. Make sure you invalidate the down timer and reset the down timer. Again, same for the left one. And make sure you put the down timer in there as well. And same for the right one. Make sure you put the down timer in there as well. Um, so hope that wasn't too confusing for you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, paste them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them as much as I can for you. Um, if you've done everything correct, then you won't need to go into the interface builder at all. Uh, so now we can build and run and hopefully this will work. So it's installing our app. And uh, here it is, and yep, click up, it goes up, click down, it goes down, right and left. And as you can see, I can now reuse right, and I can reuse up, and I can reuse down, because we've put the timer equals nil there. Um, and, you know, as you can see, it doesn't carry on going down as I click left. It stops going down because we've reset it. So that's what that if statement is for, to reset it, to stop it carrying on going down or right or left. Um, so there you go guys, that's how you keep it carrying on. Um, now you can go check out my, I think it's bouncing an image around screen tutorial um, to stop it from going off the edge because that teaches you how to stop things going off the edge. Uh, so go check that out, it's in the playlist. Um, so thanks for Max has ADHD, uh, again for reminding me of this tutorial. Um, the collision tutorial will appear here on an annotation. So thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and put any questions in the comments that you wish or any suggestions for tutorials. Uh, so thanks for watching, see you in my next tutorial.